thank you, Becca, for helping me acquire this place. No, no, truly, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad my friend told me to, uh, come to your real estate office. Oh, for sure, for sure. I'm going to call them and thank them profusely, too. Finally moved out of my uh, toxic relationship and got my own place. Really exciting. But I don't want to keep you much longer, so thank you again, Becca. And you have yourself a wonderful day. Ah, finally, my own home, where I can be alone, and no one's going to mess with my stuff. Now I just need to wait for the moving truck to get here, unload my stuff, and then I can get to unpacking it. I'm very super happy how spacious it is. Let's see what's back here. Oh, this back room would be perfect. It'd be great for a new recording studio. Small, only one entrance. Yeah, this would be perfect. Awfully cold in here, though. Uh, it is an old house, probably a bit drafty. Nice big kitchen. Double oven. Granite countertops. This place is perfect. By the gods, it's bloody cold in this room, too. Go upstairs and look at the master bedroom. This room. I cannot wait to unpack all of my stuff, put my bed together, and sleep in this massive room. Alright, it cannot possibly be that drafty in this house. This room's cold too. What was that noise? I'm not used to being by myself. I can hear all the noises. So much quiet. Whew. Cold chill. What is going on? Those bloody movers here yet? I'd like to get my things. I don't want to have to sleep in my truck again. Oh well. Wonder what's in the basement. Or the attic. Hmm. Definitely is not a good idea to go into an old house, attic, or the basement. What is that noise? Why does it sound like footsteps? Hmm. 
very interesting. Alright, will you quit following me? I know you're here with me. I know I'm not alone. So, reveal yourself. Please. Nothing? Alright, maybe I am actually alone. Maybe it's the echo of my own footsteps that I hear. Another cold chill. Alright, I know it's windy and all outside. I know this house is old, but jeez. I'm gonna have to put in a lot of money to fix all these drafts. Or something. By golly. Becky didn't tell me it was gonna be a drafty house. again. Sound of footstep. Alright, who's in my new house? Show yourself. Or I'm gonna call the authorities. Still nothing. I swear that there is someone here. And they are messing with me. Oh, you know what? Why wait for the movers to get here? I'm gonna go get a pizza. I knew it! And by the way, you don't just sneak up behind somebody and go, What kind of pizza are you getting? Well, yes, you startled me. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question. I was going to get a Hawaiian pizza. Or possibly a barbecue chicken pizza. It's not like you can eat it. You can eat a pizza. I mean, look at you. You're a bloody ghost. Look, my arm can go right through you. That tickles. Okay, now that's just funny. A ghost that is ticklish? I'm gonna note that down for the future. Or what? Okay, that's just rude. No, I'm not scared of you. Why would I be scared of you? Yeah, we've established your ghost. You are a spectral. You are a spiritual entity. Living in my house. Okay, fine. 
your former house. But it's my house now. I bought it. Fair and square. Well, we could argue this until you turn blue. Well, let me rephrase that. We could argue this until I turn blue. Well, how about we agree to disagree? Done deal. Well, I'm going to head out and get this pizza. And since you supposedly can eat a pizza... Is there... Sure, I'll pick up some breadsticks. Yes, and some dipping sauce. You're going to be an expensive roommate. Well, maybe you should. I'm sure there'd be someone that'd hire a ghost. Yeah, that would put a damper on things. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I would agree with that, definitely, definitely. Well, I guess I'm the only one working and making money. So, I guess I get to make the rules on the food then. Okay, okay, okay. How about this? We get a half Hawaiian and a half barbecue chicken. Deal. No, I don't want to order the pizza. I can just go drive and pick it up. Besides, I put my cell phone down somewhere and I don't know where it's at. Ah, oh, you cheeky little bugger. Why'd you take my phone? Give it back. Okay, that's not fair. Uh, because I can't fly. And you are well above the ceiling. Okay, that's doubly not fair. You're phasing through the ceiling now. Oh, you're going to be a big pain in the butt. Yes, you are. Well, if you want me to order the pizza, you got to give me my phone back. Thank you. All right. Let's get this pizza ordered. And I'd like to learn a little bit more about you, my spectral friend, and apparently new roommate. Still not your house. Again, we could argue about this all day. I bought it. My house. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. You're annoying. Yes, you are. What did I do to deserve a ghost haunting my house that is this annoying? Uh, 
Fuck. <sighs> well, I guess we better get used to each other. But first, pizza. Then, an exorcist.